What's up, everybody? Welcome to the All Things MSV podcast. My name is Justin Askar. I am here with my friend, OG Hosen, producer extraordinaire, Mr. Eric Anthony. And today we're picking up on a conversation that Eric posted on the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash All Things MSP, where he put out some blatant numbers that I completely disagree with. Well, you know, I I kind of did that. I was baiting. I will completely admit that I was baiting. <laughs> well, you know, admission of guilt is uh, the best way to go. Okay, so real quick, for those who don't know, Eric posted online on the Facebook group the other day the way that the number of, what was it? It was like the number, the dollar value per employee, right? The and annual revenue per employee. Annual revenue per employee, and you came up to somewhere between 350K and 500K per employee. Right. Now, I've seen numbers like this tossed around. And in fact, these are significantly higher than I've seen in the past, where it used to be about a quarter million per employee. And I have a couple of I have a couple of things. So before I get into those things, I want to know, Eric, how did you how did you come up with these numbers? Okay. So I fully admit, and in the video, I actually say this that those numbers are actually for an HVAC contractor, right? Okay. But the similarities are there, right? It's a technician driven business that is primarily service. So, you know, there's this, there, there's, first of all, again, I'll say, I know I was baiting, but I wanted to I wanted to have a discussion, right? I know people some people say it's lower. You know, Keith Nelson, it's a it's a million dollars per employee. Right. But I also know that Keith runs an extremely profitable, not really an MSP, but he does IT. Right. So the thing is at the 350 mark, to do three hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you need to have at what I'm going to call full boat. Best price, everything you have included at 185 per endpoint. And you need to have, if I did my math right, 158 endpoints, right? So 158 times 185, you can hear my keyboard clicking. I'm literally doing this live on air. Is two is 29,230 a month, 29,230 times 12, 350,000 760 dollars. So you need to have 100, what is that, 158 endpoints. So for every employee you have, you need to have 150 endpoints. Now, here's where my issue is with these numbers. We don't quantify an employee uh, in, what, in what their role should be. Because I have employees who are operations or internal work. And they never touch endpoints, right? Should should they be counted against that number, um, or is it only strictly technicians, right? Or you know, I, whatever you want to consider your your knock staff or your your technicians or your consultants or however happy. Also, I have different levels of uh, technicians. We have a tier one, we have a tier two, we have a tier three, we have infrastructure, we have me. I'm not doing 157 endpoints. Per month, I'm I'm here having fun with you once or twice a week, <laughs> right? Like right here, this is 185 Bill Blowers right here. So that's I think where my biggest issue is is where these numbers are coming from because you have number you have people in your staff or potentially have people in your staff that would not be positively impacting this number, and therefore, if they're not positively impacting it, they are negatively impacting it, and not because of anything they're doing wrong, just because somebody decided to say, this is how much money that company should be making without right. any you know, thought to it. So so here's, here's a little more detail of what I was doing, right? Yeah. So I took that number, the, the 350 to 500, and I said, okay, what, uh, by the way, hashtag, you know, we need to be sponsored by Death Water. Um, liquid you you had or Liquid Death. Yeah. So, you know, you threw that in there. But <clears throat> what I did was I looked and I said, OK, let's let's see how this works out. So I took an owner at one hundred and fifty thousand. I okay. took 
a entry level tech with three to five years experience at 70k now these are not new york prices i understand that just it's fine it's fine okay yeah and then i did a an admin person at uh, i think it was 50. okay for an admin person so you know you take all of that you multiply it by 1.4 anywhere between 1.25 and 1.4 for your fully burdened right mm -hmm. and then you know you figure out what that is and then if it's if the annual revenue per employee is 350, it's three times 350 is going to get you close to a million, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, what, once you have figured all of this out, you need about $175 per user at about 50% capacity because you have two technicians, right? You have the business owner and you have the tech. Mm -hmm. And if you work all of that math out, then you need about $175 per user in order to make enough money to cover basically the essentials. Yeah, but here's where the problem is, right? Uh, in order to make that money, if you have three employees, you're now talking about 450 endpoints. And really you have one and a half employees working on it because you have your technician and the business owner because the admin person probably isn't you want to recut that? No, no, no. Um, it's just uh, that I, I, I was grabbing because on my iPad, I actually have where I sketched this out. <laughs> oh, I see. OK, so you're uh, you, you've already written this out. I'm going to do this from the top of my head at yeah. 150. You need a hundred. We, we said 157 endpoints or whatever it is times three for your three employees. That's 450 endpoints. The question is, what do you you know, what is the capacity for a particular employee? And when you only really have like one and a half employees, figure the tech full time and the business owner is doing half because they got to be making sales, you know, is that even possible? So I did 350 users. Okay. Okay. Uh, 350, because 175. Well, hold on. You're saying users. I'm saying endpoints. So let's put a kip in this one. Same thing. Depends on how you bill, but it, I mean, because if it's per endpoint, you have more endpoints than you do users typically. All right. So three and one of the reasons users. I did users was because I was including Microsoft licensing. Fine. Three hundred and fifty users at 175 and that's that's if you can get all 350 on full boat right, right. that's 61,000 a month times 12 that's $735,000 a year yep at 350 users let's say 350 users divided by 1.5 which means you have your lead technician taking on about 233 users, right? 233 divided by, what is it? 40 hours a week times four is 160. So that's one and a half users a day. If everyone, sub oh, sorry. Yeah, that's one and a half users a day if everyone submits a ticket. So it's not a bad metric. The question is, is it even real, right? To get to yeah. 350 users paying full boat prices, and the majority of the people who are listening to this podcast are taking care of the small to medium businesses who probably don't have more than 20, maybe even 30 people. That's 20 individual clients that they need to land clothes at full boat. Yeah. That's a lot to ask. Oh, I, I, my point in all of this was yes, that, that is my point. <laughs> Um, because you're okay. So let's break, the, let's break it down. If you have, say it's 350 users, yeah. right? Yeah. That is 35 clients at 10 users a piece. Okay. That's a lot of full boat clients for a three person shop. Yeah. Yeah. Not to mention everything that comes along with it. Right. Right. And that's at 175 users per tech, right? Right. Well, 
No, it's 175 users per tech if the business owner is not doing anything other than tech. Well, I know, but average, it's it's an average of 175 well, guess, users yeah, per yeah. tech. Sure, sure, I sure. mean, obviously, you know, when you did your calculations, you skewed some of them towards the full-time tech away from the business owner. So the right. business owner would have time to do sales. Right. I get that. Fair. Otherwise, you're not closing 35 clients with 10 users a piece. <laughs> right, right. But my point is that that is at half the capacity of what a lot of people say should be your users per tech, because a lot of them are between, they go from 350 to 1,000. Right. I can't imagine doing a thousand users per tech. I can't imagine that either. And I really want to understand, like, maybe this is a, a big difference between the Mac side and the PC side, because like, I don't, I can't see anyone on the Apple side taking on 300 users by themselves, you know, but is it, is it more just because on the PC side of MSP work, work, so much of it is just sitting in office portal.office365.com. Is that the majority of what this is? Like, I don't, maybe I misunderstand because like I went to this event yesterday and there was a lot of this, this how to get from 1 million to 10 million to a hundred million. And I'm looking at it and I'm going, I'm not, this guy had a scale of five. This goes into point. I'm going, he had five things. It was like startup, mid, growing, 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 whatever. And then the, the Uber of it is going to be, you're a $20 million company. And I'm like, there's no effing way that that's possible for a Mac tech, for an Apple consultant. And so according to his metrics, I'm still in startup. Meanwhile, I've been around for 15 years. Right. Right. Is the, is it just that Windows management is actually easier than Mac management that you, that a, that a Windows PC, a Windows MSP can take on 350 end users? Or is it just that the people who use those computers are so, uh, deadened by how horrible Windows is that they don't complain as much as Mac people. Like, I don't understand where this is coming from. <laughs> so I think it comes down to what services you deliver, right? Yeah. I think that there's a lot of people out there delivering bare bones services mm -hmm. that are not fully managed, right? And so, yes, if all they're doing is providing, putting an RMM agent on it, to do patching and deploy an antivirus or an EDR. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you can tweak it to the point where you can probably do a thousand endpoints as long as you don't have any problems and you're not supporting help desk. As soon as you do help desk and are starting to, you know, help them with Excel calculations and formulas, that's out the window. You can't provide that type of support at a thousand. Yeah. And you're not going to charge 175. Tech. You're not charging 175 per user or endpoint for just RMM and patch management right. either. Right. Right. So that's why, like, I, and I know you preface this with that you were baiting. That's why I think a lot of the people who come up with these calculations, honestly, in a realistic world where where I'm in it day to day, I think it's a bullshit number. Because here's the thing: I technically have 12 employees, even at a quarter million. I'm supposed to be a $3 million company. I'm definitely not a $3 million company yet. I do use the word yet. But like, if I were to try to sell my company, that's how they would look at it. Now, keep in mind, I have four part-timers. I have two people on my staff who are full-time who only do hardware repair for our Apple authorized service providership. I have myself who I'm not, whilst yes, I can do all the ticketing. A lot of the days I'm not doing in and out ticketing. I have our president who's doing operations and business uh, pieces. So she's not actually helping end users. So at the end of the day, I only have four, four and a half, five people who are actually doing technical work. And am I hitting the number at that point? Yeah, I am. You know what I mean? But like to sell your business, to value your business, that's, that's where it's at. And the other thing, just to go on this, and this is just my personal take, is that like, I know many of you do not uh, think that you need to have a contract to work with people. If you don't have contracts with your clients, it, it doesn't matter how much money you're making. Your company's value is zero. Yeah. Zero. Well, that's a discussion for a whole nother day. Um, but you are exactly... So 
the the one thing that I was really trying to do with this series of of kind of just throwing these numbers out was to have other people disagree and just show how big the range is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And 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 here's here's why I did this. Because I truly believe that there is no one model for doing this. And so you can't put baby in a corner. Right? <laughs> like it's not fair. People do this for different reasons. They do they serve different markets just like you know the Mac market is very different from the yeah. Windows market. Yeah. You can't compare the two. The numbers are going to be different. Yeah. So that was really that that's my overarching point for doing this is to show that nobody's really doing it wrong and their numbers don't have to be what everybody else's numbers are. And and where I'm going to end up with this probably in another week or so, uh, once I get back from exchange and have some time to actually film more of a tutorial type video is show that this is based on one scenario, right? I have a very specific scenario of business owner, technician, admin, right? And I got the numbers from salary.com. So they're, they're real numbers, right? But that's that specific situation offering a very specific stack. Your stack is different. Your costs are going to be different. You have a different employee mix. Maybe you have all technicians and the business owner is doing all of the admin and all the sales. You know, it just really depends. And I want to show people that there's a way to work on their business that doesn't depend on mapping it to somebody else's idea of success. That's ultimately what I'm after. No, success is success has to be drawn from within. You know, I always joke around about how I want a private jet with my logo on it. I know plenty of MSP owners who do not want that, and I can't imagine why. Um, you know, some of them are like, I'd rather have a boat. Uh, <laughs> but like, yeah, success is what you define it as. And if someone tells you that it's 250 an employee or 350 an employee or even 500 an employee, that, and that's not your level of success, you don't tell them to take a hike. It's no big deal. But the idea is there are there are there are things that we as business owners should be striving for. And while you might not think 250 an employee is a is, is a level of success, it should be something that you're striving for because that gives you that fire to keep you going. We want to light that fire to keep going and push yourself a little bit further. Never be con I would I would leave it as don't be content with what you have right now in terms of clients. Always be trying to get more clients. Always be doing things. Always listen to the All Things MSP podcast available now on all of your favorite podcast tools. The other day, somebody uh, somebody asked me, where's your podcast? And I was like, literally Google it, dude. <laughs> yeah, we're at that point now. Thank goodness. Yeah. Well, uh, I think that's a good wrap for today. Just to pick off all your numbers. Success is, uh, I think that the end point here is success is, is from within. Let your heart shine. And listen to the All Things MSP podcast on all your favorite tools. Follow us at youtube.com slash at all things MSP. If you are picking up the podcast and not already a member, facebook.com slash groups, uh, all things MSP, ATMSP. And you'll find Eric. Eric will welcome you once a week. I will make some snippy comment about coffee and donuts in the back of the Facebook room. It's a joke. It runs. It's funny. <laughs> and that's it for us here on the All Things MSP podcast. See you next time. Bye. And now that you've watched that mess of a podcast, don't forget to watch one of these and go ahead and click that subscribe button so you get to watch more. Yeah, just go ahead and do it. Click the button and then watch one of the other videos. I'm watching.